I'm on the floor of my room. This is a photograph of my doggy when he was a puppy. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to let luckily my stuff. I had a really fun time with the makeup show, and I did buy a few Bingo Bobs. So that's what this bag is. So this is my makeup show Chicago haul. This is my third year now, and um, it just gets like faster and faster. Like I feel like I can just like weasel in and out, and then I'm like good. So I used to have like a two day passes, and now I just do a one day, and I'm like, it's all I'm. Um, the first thing I bought was a duo. I bought the Cinema Secrets, the little guy and the big guy. I've never tried this before, but I've always heard amazing things about this. So I'm really excited to try it. I haven't even touched it. I've been trying to film this haul for a bit. Just because apparently you don't need water, you don't need soap, you don't need anything. You just need this. And I was like, are you sure? And she was just like going on and on. I wonder if they ever thought about like doing one for beauty blenders. I'm very curious about that. So yay me for finally buying them. There was like a bunch of Skinny Pop and they just kept giving them out. But actually I've never tried, so I've always tried the regular Skinny Pop with the white cheddar. Oh good. Uh, uh, beauty blenders and then it came with a little solid and so this one came with six and it was for six for 60 which was amazing you know and they did have like a three for 35 but it had the black one and the white one and a, like a smaller cleanser but I just bought this one because I, I need it for my kit and I was this is like what was on my list that so far and this was like on my list to buy this was also on my list I bought two of these these are the Embryolisse um, Hydra Matte Emulsion. It's just a moisturizer. <clears throat> it looks like this. I actually used one in my personal, kind of, for myself. Um, and then I had one in my kit, and then I ran out of the one in my kit. And I was kind of like, oh, frick, I really need it. So I think I want to have one for myself and one for my kit. But anyways, this is, like, just so good for if you have oily skin and you just want to, like, mattify and really moisturize your skin. This is, like, a really good moisturizer for that. Oh, oh, I got, um, a bunch of these, uh, Demi Wispies from Ardell. They, they had a stand, oh, and then I also got, so I got, like, a bunch of those. I forget what the sale was. It was, like, six for something. I don't know. But then I got one, uh, double up, and it was a 201. So the bands are pretty long, but it's, like, a, like, the hairs are like this. So it's kind of, I, I just don't have any kind of, um, are these so different? No, that was just kind of fucked up. Oh, and it came with a free duo. I tried this one compared to the uh, Revlon one. I don't love this one. The Revlon one I think is better, but it was free, so I was like, all right, throw it in the bag. What did it though? Uh, I didn't have to buy mascara wands. I literally, I had a wedding on Saturday, and then Sunday I went to the makeup show. On the wedding, I ran out of mascara wands like that day, so I had to buy them right away. And I usually get them online, but they were there. They were for a good price, so I just like was like, yeah, that's fine. And then from Mario Podescu, I, they had their whole um, range there. Like, pretty much their whole range. There, there, was, there were some things that were missing for sure, because the girl was talking to me about it. But I bought a few of those things. So the first thing that I bought was um, a body wash, body soap. And this was specifically for, you know, for... Um, <sighs> how should I say bad backs <laughs> so it's for troublesome acne on the back and the chest um, like I said I, I've been working out so much lately that like all my issues are like the sports bra it's all in there so it's really annoying but um, I just need to get like something a little stronger and so she explained this one it doesn't smell like anything oh an eye makeup remover I just saw it there and I was like I'm kind of mad that I bought it actually, but I saw it and it said uh, that it's a eye makeup remover oil and I was like, okay, how much does this really take off? I think she's like, yeah, it really does. So I, I decided to try it, why not? And then um, I bought ooh, I bought the um, Lycolic Foaming Cleanser from Mario Badescu. It just was also good for problematic skin. And then this uh, was really the what I wanted was the oil-free moisturizer. And this is from, um, it's just it's supposed to be good for oily skin. So I thought like, you know, between this, that oil um, free makeup, no, oil free moisturizer that I bought from Lush, and then this one from Ember Elise, I figure I'm going to find my favorite. So I just wanted to try all those out. I know my sister got an eye cream from there that she was really excited about, and they did sell them there, which is kind of cool. And then I did buy, which I thought was really cool that they had on there. I forget which booth it was. It was like Friends or Art. I don't remember. But I got the Visart or, yeah, Viziart or Visart palette. 
in the neutrals, which I was really excited about. This is like completely matte. Um, so these are originally $70. There, they were $60. But if you buy like more than two or three, no, if you buy three, they were each $45. And like my sister wanted one of them as well. She, the one who went with me, she she bought like a, like a shimmery one. It had really pretty colors in them. They're all shimmers. And then my twin sister wanted this one. So I originally got the deal. This is the dark matte. Ugh, I'm so excited about this. And um, so with between all of us, they were each $45, which was a really good deal. I mean, if you think about it, like each of them are like a $5 pan. One, two, three, four, wait, three, four, 12 times five is 60. So like it should have been $60 and it would have been really well worth it, but it was 45 bucks. It was nothing. So I'm really excited to try these out. I haven't even touched them. Haven't even touched them. I actually delivered this one to my twin sister. This is the one that she actually wanted. She wasn't able to go with me to the makeup show. She was too busy in New York doing fabulous things. I delivered this to her and I gave her a brush that I bought with her. And she was like all up in and ready to go. I know it's kind of bad, but whatever. And so she like put some of the color underneath her lash line. And she, it looks so, it was like, like that. Like it looks so pretty. It was like really like. The, the color payoff was really good like right away so I'm so excited to try this out so I'm probably gonna do a tutorial with something like this maybe this little lashes so I'm um, that was pretty much like the only makeup makeup that I bought because honestly like I have everything that I need things that I can buy it's not like it's not that big a deal for me to get it at the makeup show it was just kind of nice to have well a few last things that I bought were makeup brushes so here are the makeup brushes that I bought okay so the face brushes, and I saw these and I was like, holy shit, these look like the MAC ones. And whenever I have this in my MAC brush belt, whenever I freelance at MAC, I'm like, thank goodness that's all I need. I use this for everything. And this is like, it's like a, I think the MAC was a little bit more dense, a little spiky. This one's very, very soft, but I just love the shape of it. So I bought three. Um, I gave one to my sister because she liked the way it looked, so I just let her have it. Um, so I originally have four, but I got three of these. And I'm excited to wear, try this out too, because this is from oh, this is from the crown brush, um, that thing. Um, I did get a little fan brush because I don't really have one this style. I had that really big one, and I was gonna buy another, but I was like, nah, I'm good. But I wanted to get this little teeny tiny fan brush. I got two of these. Gave one to my sister because she really wanted it. And then I got um, this eyebrow spoolie. Um, I usually use a disposable one in my kit, and then I end up throwing it out because I don't want to dip that into the mascara one or the mascara. And I don't have one of these. I'm like, what the hell? Why don't I have one of these? So I have one for myself. So I'm excited to have that for my kit. And then, um, let's see what else. Oh, they had, this was kind of cool. They had these brushes. These are like almost identical to the MAC ones. And I have two MAC ones. And I'm kind of like, kind of a little butter that I have these or those and not these. Um, oh, shoot. Are these different? Okay, what the fuck? Well, the thing with these is that, like, this one's thinner than this one, and they should be the same one. So that's just kind of, like, the way they make them. They're very inconsistent with, like, you know, between each of the same brushes. They're inconsistent, so whatever. But I wanted this because I did want to have it for, like, lower lash lines for my kit. Oh, no. What did I want this for? I don't know what I wanted this for, but I did want them. I can't remember now. Oh, and then they had these, which also, if I have this in my brush belt at MAC when I freelance... I'm good. I use this usually underneath the um, to apply the concealer, and then sometimes I like wet a disposable sponge and then like blend it out like a kind of a beauty blender. But just the placement of this is really nice, and I like to kind of buff it into the inner corner where like the darkness usually goes. Anyways, I like this a lot, and this is like a little dual fiber brush. Um, I gave one of these to my sister too because she liked that one. Oh, so generous. Oh, so I was kind of mad about these. I'll be honest. So I got these smudgy brushes. And I was like, I love it, yes. So these are the ones that have like, they're soft um, and they are for the lower lash hair. And so I got these, but then I didn't notice that they had like a bottom dip, but I got three of these for my kit. And then these are the ones that I actually like. These are a little bit stiffer, um, very similar to the ones from e.l.f., but this is just shorter. Uh, so this is again, gonna be used to smudge out the lower lash line. So I like those. So crown brushes is always like a really good deal no matter where, like what you're getting. They had a lot of good brushes, like a lot that I was like, oh, so tempted to buy that I just kind of like held off. Um, is that it? Is that all that I bought? Oh, I have more mascara ones. Yeah, I needed, I just did it. I think they were 25 in each, so 125. 
So I just didn't want to go through it without that. That's my makeup show haul. Um, I'm going to be playing with these guys very soon. I'm so excited about these. And then I'll probably do some kind of demo of this on Snapchat. So if you follow me on Snapchat, uh, take a peek because I'm actually going to be doing that like right now. 